Hello and welcome back to Reapers. We're in our MIA and today we're looking at countermeasures. So we're going to hop over to the co-pilot seat and by pressing 2 and our countermeasure panel is down here to the right. So let's start going through it. First is our main command power. It can be on or off and we're obviously going to want it on. Next thing to point out is that we have flares only. We do not have uh, chaff in this helicopter. Uh, let me show you where the flare pods are on the external surface. They're on that second to last window. Now we can't just fire single flares on their own like you can in some planes. We don't have that direct override control. What we do have is the ability to start and stop sequences. So we have to set a sequence of flares and then start and stop that. Um, before we go too far, what I'll also show is the controls that you can use to start and stop the sequence. So start obviously will start it, stop will stop a sequence. Um, it, you don't have to stop it, you can let it run the sequence and then it will finish itself. Well, hello Charles, or you can stop it. Nice skin. Thank you. On the pilot, you all, pilot side, you also have a button um, that just starts the sequence in the emergency. And we also have options in the control in the controls menu here. We have start dispensing and stop dispensing. Okay, back to the panel. So yeah, the pilot side thing is actually a toggle with start stop dispense. Roger. Right. First of all, well, we've got sides. We can either use the left side only, or the right side only, or both. With the left side we get 64, the right side we get 64, both we get 128. I'm left click there uh, to move it left, right click to move it left. So we'll go both because why not. Next is the num control. This just shows the display, changes the display between number of flares available and the program selected. So left click, number of flares, right click, program. The program is displayed in three digits. Each digit means a different thing. Digit number one means how many sequences we're going to run, essentially. Number, the second digit is how many flares per sequence is going to be sent out. And number three is the time between sequences. Um, so let's look at the number of sequences first of all. It's currently selected as one, so it will run one sequence of flares. Uh, we can change that by clicking here. We can go all the way up to, uh, what is that, eight? Eight. So with eight selected, we would run eight sequences of one flare with each sequence. There are some exceptions, as we can see painted on the button here. If we had five selected, it would not run five sequences, it would actually run 12 sequences. If we had seven selected it would not run seven sequences it would run 15 sequences okay so we're just going to keep that on one for the uh, sorry on one for the oh and zero if it's on zero then it will run infinite sequences until it's either out of flares or until you stop it stop the program so we're going to go to one sequence just for the time being next we're going to look at the number of flares per sequence it's currently on one we press this button here whoops sorry we press this button here to change it and we can have up to eight flares per sequence so we're just going to go two at the moment two flares per sequence um it's also worth mentioning that it's per sequence and side so if you have both sides selected it will actually be four flares overall roger next is the time between sequences displayed by this digit here we change it with this button here so we can go up to nine so Zero is what's uh, zero, Star? Uh, it's zero point one two five seconds. Roger. So zero represents zero point one two five seconds. One is one second. Two is two seconds. Three, four, five, six are all three, four, and five, six seconds. Seven, as shown on here, is zero point two five seconds. Eight is eight seconds. 9 is 0.5 seconds. Uh, I don't know why that is like that. That's just the way it is. So you just got to memorize those um, intervals. So I want uh, one second between each sequence. So if I started now, I would have one sequence of two flares per side with an interval of one second between each sequence. So let's go and try that out. Start. 
So what we fired there is one sequence of two flares from each side. Now let's shake things up a little bit. Uh, let's go for... Um, let's go for four sequences of three flares on the left side only with a time between them of 0.25 seconds. So stand by and I'm going to leave that program to run. That's that. And let's shake it up even more and go absolutely nuts. Let's go 15 uh, sequences at all the flares I can muster on both sides with an eighth of a second between them. And that's probably me out of flares right now. Uh, okay, so that's that. Uh, oh, and yeah, and we can see how many flares we've got remaining. If we go back to none, you can see, we, oh, we've got zero, we're out. So that's that. Anything you want to add to that, Star? Yeah, one more thing to note, maybe you do have a reset button, which is just going to send you back to the standard program of 110. And other than that, the start and stop is pretty straightforward. There's also, I've already talked about the files, I think. Yep, yeah, that's it then. Lovely. Right, do you fancy a helicopter kiss? Any time. Let's go. I'm on top. Right, I hope that helps, and as ever, we'll see you later.